So today I'm going to show you how to create a quiz using Google Forms. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you, that you are in Google Drive. So open up Google Drive and then select New and then go to the bottom of that list and that little menu and you will click More and when you click more Google Forms will appear and you'll click Google Forms and a Google Form will open. First thing you always want to do with any Google Doc, Google Form, any any Google file is give it a name. And if you're going to use your quizzes inside of Google Classroom it will make it easier for you to manage if you give your assignments and your quizzes a number so that if a student has missed a quiz or an assignment and they ask you which one they still need to give you that haven't completed you can say oh I'm missing number one quiz or I'm missing number two so this is my example I'm going to say number one plant oops, plant cell quiz and then when I click Untitled Form, the title will automatically populate. Now, a little tip is if you want to be able to find things quickly and they're important to you, if you will star them there in your Google Drive over on the left, you can click on the starred category and anything you've starred will be right there. You don't have to hunt for it. Then the next thing you're going to do before you ever start putting in your questions is you're going to turn it into a quiz. And the quickest way to do that is to go right over here to settings. It looks like a little gear or a little flower. Click on that little flower gear and you will see three different tabs. General, Presentation, and Quizzes. We're going to make sure this is a quiz. We're going to turn it into a quiz. So click on Quizzes and then this first little grade area when you slide that button by clicking right here the button will turn purple make this a quiz now you have some quiz options it's up to you whether you want to let them get their grade immediately or do you want them to have to wait do you want them to be able to see their missed questions not in this case I do not do I want them to see their correct answers? Not in this case, I do not. And do I want them to see their point values? No, I don't in this case. Then I click Save. Now that has turned this into a quiz. It will automatically collect their email addresses also. So I'm going to say, please complete this quiz by the end of class. First name, short answer, required. Last name, short answer, required. First question. Now, I went ahead and typed out my questions and I have them over here in a Google Doc. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say, I'm just going to copy this. Let me go over here and I'm going to paste it right there. And I'm going to make this a short answer. And I'm going to make it required and I'll make it five points. There we go. Next. Next question is, what are the distinguishing characteristics of all plants? Paste that there. Fix that. Multiple choice. First one is 
They are eukaryotic, multicellular, and photosynthetic. I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to press enter. We'll go down to number two. They are green. Copy. Paste. Press enter. They are eukaryotic and multicellular. Copy. Paste. Press enter. They are photosynthetic. Then, on this one, I'm going to go in for my answer key. I'm going to say this one, and it will be self-grading for this, this one. Anywhere you can supply the answer. There. Self-grading. Okay. Now, you can also insert pictures. So, um... What is the let's see what is part A on this picture? And if I've uploaded one to Google Drive, a picture to Google Drive, it will show up in my Google Drive. will automatically put it there and this would be short answer and then I have to fill in the answer and I could go in and ask them about B, C, D, and E, and F. I also made this written out required. Now if you want to allow another teacher to help you create this exam to go this little quiz or allow them to use it then if you click on the three dots up here, three dots always means more, then this is where you can add collaborators. So with this one, I can add Normally it will populate. That's okay. Oops. Send that to her. Done. And then let's go over here to responses. And this is where, if you're accepting respond, accepting responses, then if you click on this, you create a new spreadsheet. It'll be called Plant Cell Quiz Create. And then all of your students' responses will automatically be fed into this spreadsheet. Let's go back to questions. Now, the last thing you want to do is if you want to send it. You can send it through an email, and you can use um, a group email. You can also take this link and put it into an email. And with this one, you can embed it in a web page. So you could use it. You don't have to use it as a quiz. You can use it for other things too, surveys, whatnot. But in this case, we're using this one as a quiz. And that's the way you make a quiz in Google Forms.